Hey guys, how's it going? Elliot here again. In today's video, we are going to be taking the switches out of the Game Boy Advance and putting clicky switches in, also known as micro switches. This is really, really an easy mod to do. Uh, you can actually pick up the switches online for a couple of pounds. I got mine off of eBay. Basically, you just need them and a soldering iron. I started off by taking the Game Boy apart, which is about six tri-wing screwdrivers and one Phillips screw on the actual outside casing. And then inside there's two additional Phillips screws. Once you've taken them off, just undo the ribbon cable, remove all of the plastic parts, and then you will have exposure to the different soldering pads on the corner buttons. Taking these off is actually quite difficult to do and film at the same time. I know Martin over at the Retro Game Tech channel recently made a video on this and he couldn't actually film it, hence why I'm trying to make a tutorial for you guys if you want to do this yourself. To actually do this, it's only two contacts you need to take off, although I would recommend if you're really new to soldering, potentially taking off the little metal pad as well, uh, which supports underneath the button. Potentially once you've taken that off and everything else off, it's gonna be a lot easier and you can even super glue the new switches onto that metal pad, which is something again that I would recommend perhaps doing. After you've taken them off, it's gonna be a case of just putting it back together. For this specific example, I'm gonna be leaving one of the original ones in and one of the uh, the new micro switches in as well, just so we can have a comparison. All right, and that is it, the mod is done. Didn't take very long, probably took only about 20 minutes. There is only two solder points really um, on either side, so I guess four, which means you're gonna be soldering in total eight times. So if you think about how long it takes to take apart a Game Boy and push the soldering iron against um, a piece of solder eight times, then that is how long it takes. Why is this camera not focusing? Here's the little micro switches, as you saw in the video. Um, they're really, really nice and clicky. Uh, compared to the actual original one that came on, the, this is gonna be really difficult to film. If you look at it compared to the actual original one, obviously you can see that there's just a slight height difference um, on the actual switch itself, which means you're gonna have a little bit of extra travel uh, when you're pressing down the buttons. So this is the side of the non-click, and this is the side of the click. So you can actually see uh, it travels quite far down before you're actually pressing anything um, compared to this one where that is it actually pressing. Um, and then as soon as you get to the bottom of that, you then get your click. So if I just power this Game Boy on, so you can see it turning on. There it is actually getting your, uh, your click again. But that being said, you know, when your fingers are actually kind of already resting on here, um, you, you're already kind of down at that point of travel. So it is just the click and then it, it works absolutely fine. And it does actually feel really, really nice. Definitely like a lot more responsive. If you can find some with a slightly higher um, actual piece there to connect it to, um, then you'll definitely have a really, really nice setup. Um, but these ones as well, the other issue is uh, not really an issue per se, but it has these little legs which dig into that metal plate and that kind of keeps them aligned. Um, definitely didn't have any problems aligning it. You just need to remember to kind of keep a little bit of a, a gap there. But yeah, I think this looks really, really good. I think it turned out really, really well. And uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.